Hi everybody, it's Leone from Stampalate. I'm here to show you a watercoloring technique using the Blessed Easter stamp set. I um, also want to show you what I've done with my stamp set too. I've actually taken it, it's just a single stamp this one, but I've actually taken it, let's see if I can open it today, yes I can, and I've made it into two stamps. Okay, I just cut the words off from the side and um, found a, an old wooden block that I had from an old hostess set. So. I've used that. So, Blessed Easter tulip stamp. Love the tulips. Okay, your jet black stays on ink pad. You need to use stays on because it's a um, permanent ink pad and it won't run once it's dry. Okay, so I'll just stamp that onto there. Lovely. Okay, so I'll just pop that away so it doesn't dry out too quickly. Okay, now. To colour in your tulips, you need an aqua painter. Yes, I said an aqua painter. Any aqua painter, a blender pen. Anybody who knows me knows that I do not like blender pens, but I am using a blender pen for this technique. So there you have it. Okay, so just grab your marker. This is the strawberry slush. Okay, and then we're just going to not very neatly, just draw it around the edges there, pop them away, and then we're just going to get our blender pen, and then just drag the colour up and around, however you want it. Now, you can see where I originally put the marker, it's all been blended now. So to make that a little bit darker, all you need to do is just go over it one more time. Okay. So, and then just drag that around till you get the colour and tone that you want. Just want a bit more dark up around here. Just drag that out. Now with your blend pens, you don't need one for each colour, you get three in a pack. They're both all double-ended. All you need to do to change colours is just scribble off onto a scratch sheet or onto your grid paper. Love grid paper. And then once that runs clear, you can go on to your next colour. Now the next colour I'm going to use is the yellow, which is the Daffodil Delight. I'm doing the same thing as I did before. That was a bit bigger, so. Okay, and then we're just going to drag that up and around. Love chips. Okay, so you can see. How I've done that, how it's a little bit lighter across the top there, but a bit darker down the bottom. Now with the yellow one, what I want to do is I want to actually give it a bit of an orange tone to it. You can see some tulips, you see that they're like yellow across the top, but then they're orange going to red down the bottom. So I'm just going to give that a subtle tone there. And again, let's go a bit darker. This marker that I'm using here is the um, pumpkin pie. You could even pop some um, red onto there as well if you really wanted to give like a darker tone around the bottom. So that's those two. And then the last one I'm going to use is Wisteria Wonder. So you just drag your colour up. Now with the Wisteria Wonder, it's quite a light colour. So it doesn't get very dark. But you can get the deeper tones down the bottom as they're starting to appear there now. But if you want it just a little bit darker, 
just grab a darker color this one here is the um, perfect plum so I'm just gonna do that doesn't look so good there but when you do this it just blends it all in gives you a beautiful bunch of tulips okay so that is your water coloring with your markers and your blender pens okay and then once you've done something like this you can you know you can stamp out a few of these and pop them onto a card a little bit like this this is one that I made yesterday the the fence is made out of the hardwood stamp which is in the occasions catalog and these are just I think I stamped two full tulips and then another two for all your little petals and stuff like that so I just put two behind the fence and then I just cut up the um, the buds off the flowers and um, just stuck them down with glue dots on that and the just because is from the um, dozen thoughts stamp set love that stamp because it covers everything okay oh and on the fence here too I've got the paling going across and that's the nails there are the um, the candy dots from the um, the annual catalog so that's my card for today I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you making some of these very pretty watercolor flowers thanks for stopping by